Hello everyone. So yesterday we started implementing a gameplay attribute system, a gameplay attribute set for our character. Now I can, I have a health attribute. Let me show you where I implemented it. Here, this, this is the attribute set that I implemented and here we only have one attribute which is health. So if I press zero, it shows the base value and the current value of the health as you can see in the top left corner but it only works on server uh, at the moment it's not working on clients so here if I press zero now as you can see here it shows health base value and current value as zero that's because this uh, value we define this attribute is still not replicated over the network so this is where i show print the value of the base actor attribute health value i just press zero and then print the value that i retrieve like this so in this episode we are going to look into how to replicate this a health gameplay attribute data through over the network in a multiplayer game so at the moment I am only using one attribute that's because so that I can keep it simple and explanations will, will be more simpler compared to having multiple attributes and trying to work on them together later on we will be adding more attributes but once you understand the concept it's the same thing for all other attributes and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel in the patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit to the date there are over 1800 videos for each video you can download the project file with assets and everything so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and let's get back to today's tutorial right so here as you can see in this base act attributes header file i have defined this health attribute now to start replicating this let's add a u function virtual white on rep health and here we can give as a parameter const f and play attribute data old health so the old health value okay right now I can use this function on rep health function here and we can mark this to replicate using on rep health sorry this should be replicated using okay now let's implement this function so here we have to do it this way game play attribute rep notify we have to give class name which is you base actor attributes and then property name which is health and then old value old health right and also there is another function that we need to implement uh, and this is the documentation that i'm using the function is this get lifetime replicated props get lifetime replicated props f lifetime property and out lifetime props const 
override okay so this function is also required now we can implement this function in our cpp file so here we can call the super function get lifetime replicated props out lifetime props okay and then we have to call this macro to rip lifetime condition notify and here we need to give you at uh, this one our class and then uh, let me just copy this it should be like this so but here you get an error that's because we need to include this net unreal network header file so once you include it the error goes away like this see so you can read more about this condition notify this conditional property replication documentation here now you can see condition initial only owner only skip owner so this is the options for this count none that i have used here so the available options are these and yeah now i think that should be all so let's go back to my project and hit compile compilation successful great now let me hit play and here if i press zero it crashed it's okay let's try again maybe i don't know actually the reason but let's restart the project and see maybe it's just a one time thing right press zero okay see now you can see i was controlling this client and you can see the health value is replicated properly and also we implemented yesterday if i pick up a sword it increases the health value by 25 points collected now you see base is 100 current is 125 so it's working on clients now let me check this client as well it's working great and the server it was already working but let's test yeah it is working all right so yeah everything is working as intended now our health values uh, attribute values are being replicated over the network okay great so on the next time let's look into how to actually do damage using our attacks and after that how to make the character dead when the health is depleted and how to replicate those events also so yeah let's look into those things in future episodes so thanks for watching see you in another episode don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye